But we've already explored how we can increase connection and pressure, say for example, sort of hands and arms in the, into the kind of the body in some ways. It's kind of using this kind of split hand kind of uh, play in some ways that the idea kind of left hand or lead hand facing downwards, trail hand or right hand facing upwards. With the kind of hands in that position, then actively squeeze them and apply pressure together. So very much kind of the, the trail hand, the lead hand, lead hand facing down, trail hand facing up, really pressure for some ways, the kind of little thing on the trail hand into that kind of index thing on that kind of lead hand there. So really kind of applying pressure, first finger, lead hand, trail finger, right, really applying pressure. And as we start to move into backswing, just start to make very small, almost increases in how we move through backswing. So actively really applying pressure, really squeezing pressure, almost that little conflict, lead hand versus right in some ways. As we apply pressure, little kind of putt length, chip length, pitch length, approach shot length, for example, tee shot length, really getting pressure into finger, trail hand, that kind of first finger, that index finger, that kind of lead hand, really applying that pressure to get that connection between scapula, arms, into that spine. And once you've done that several times, it very much go at your pace and at your level. Once you go, okay, that's kind of enough, then start to almost then take start position and just make a few movements and then start to connect back then. How that increased connection, really squeezing the pressure. Again, putt length, chip, pitch, kind of short shot, approach play, tee shot, for example, really applying pressure into those hands can be a fantastic way of exploring a connection between shoulder blades, arms, rib cage into that pelvis as you move through swing.